This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. world's first hands-free robotic legs for paraplegics is now making giant strides internationally. A high-profile politician in India is using the Rex Bionics limbs and has got people talking about the walking. This from Renee Graham. High-profile Indian politician Arjit Jogi was paralysed eight years ago in a car crash. Here in a home video, he's taking his first steps since the accident on robotic legs, invented and made in New Zealand. I'm really happy. He talks about health benefits and and uh, and moving forward again with his life rather than being um, having to be in a wheelchair all the time. The Indian Congress leader's walk, using technology developed by Auckland's Rex Bionics, has sparked worldwide media attention. It's a big international break for the Kiwi company. They've cracked the massive Asian market and are now fielding calls from Dubai to Singapore. We were taking additional time slots, you know, for people to either use the device or to uh, talk with our engineers while they are in India, but they're overloaded so we can't take any more. About 30 people worldwide already use them at a cost of $150,000 each. You can walk, stand or use stairs. The company says it increases blood flow and reduces pain. Gold medal Paralympian Dave McCalman became the first in the world to buy an exoskeleton 18 months ago. It's the ability to get up at eye level again, you know, and it's priceless, you know, you really can't um, um, sort of say too much in the words. It was really overwhelming when I first got in them. Rex Bionics is working with Houston University in the USA on a neurological transmitter, which will send instructions from the user's brain to the legs. That means removing the need for a joystick and, uh, and simply the brain telling the device to walk. So you think walk and the device walks. The fact that your hands are free when you're walking and you can just think about walking, it's going to be a huge difference. Rex legs for children are also in development. Renee Graham, One News. This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world.